go. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. It's a little fun. fun. I'm excited. I like having nerves. I like having, you know, feelings when I work out. And, I'm, and maybe that's not the right word, but, um, you know, it's been a long time since I've been in a workout and been like super fired up or super motivated or like when I used to hit lifts, you'd get so pumped up and I haven't like those feelings I haven't had in a long time. And it's weird that, you know, you miss them. And I, I have one actually not that long ago. I hit something. Oh, I think when I hit that, uh, that back squat, I tied my back squat at 440. I was, uh, that was a, like the first time in a long time. I was like, damn, that felt good. Like, and I got fired up and it pumped me up. Did you ever consider going to I did. Yeah, I used to a little bit think about it. Um, not obviously not until my individual career was career was over, but uh, you know, towards that back end, I started thinking about it a little bit. Um, but then it just yeah, it just you know the feeling you get when you go out there on the, as an individual on the floor. I always loved it. I loved the way the energy, how it was all on you, wasn't on anybody else. But then my knee surgery just didn't work out. You know, I got the surgery. The surgery had so much relief from pain but it uh i tried to push it a couple times and i wanted to see how my knee re would respond when i was pushing it more towards that type of training like that volume and that intensity of training and the knee just didn't respond the way i wanted it to so you know that's why i have never come back since that time um, and then my elbow i had to have surgery on my left elbow and that did nothing i have bone spurs in the elbow and so it doesn't have full range of motion and so when I go overhead, the elbow will just give out sometimes because I can't, you know, get a full lockout or my lockout is short. And so I just really weird. Yeah, there's just movements that I really can't um, perform at the level that I need to be able to perform them. Taylor cracked me up. She's like, maybe we'll get the worm out. I'm like, I don't think I'm the person you want on that worm. I'm like, I'm going to be like, doot, doot, doot. <laughs> I'm just here to let everyone down. <laughs> I'm actually saying this this way. There's a dumbbell doing some sort, some sort of job. We're here. I don't know if I'm nervous or if my legs are just sore. Where is this place? What are we doing these things? Where are all these weights and shit? This is weird. You guys like this stuff? So you did back squats yesterday. Mm -hmm. Of course. I would back squat every single day if I could, but I can't really anymore. The knees don't, the knees don't feel that great. How's that body feeling? Oh, it's, it feels like it's been through, uh, been through it doesn't feel 40, I'll tell you that. It feels 80. Well, you better keep getting after it because it, it gives me hope to get after yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, you just have to pick and choose your battles. Then you, you know, drop the, drop the volume and yeah. you only do the lifts that you want to do or... Like, you know, I don't do, I mean, I couldn't tell you last time I did a, a handstand push-up is only if we're doing it for some, some video of some sort. And then I don't do heavy snatching ever. I'll do light snatches. Are you snatching with us today? Is it snatch or those clean and jerk? Either one, I can't go heavy, so it doesn't matter. Like the max, like I'll go to, the like cleans, I'll go to 225 max. And I don't, and I don't jerk at all because my elbow. Oh, really? And, um, and snatches, I'll go to like, Maybe 185. Oh, you guys are gonna snap. Oh, I'll just go do some bench. <laughs> I think last time I did, when I tried to go heavy in, in, uh, in London is when I hurt my ankle. And I, I, I missed the clean and I like, like spit me out real awkward. And then my, my ankle hurt since then. I'll just watch the Olympic right here. Just watch it, go ahead. I'll do a little holy. I'm only doing this because I feel bad, like I should do something. Like, like they're doing something, I should do something. We're a team here.
going heavy. It's going heavy over here, you know? Chill out. <laughs> PR! Yeah. What were you saying? How's your knee doing? Oh, yeah. It's all right. It doesn't bother me during workouts, but then when I get done, I'm like, oh, that's right. I shouldn't have done that. But surgery's on Tuesday, so. Yeah. I said, I'm like, oh, I'll fuck it up until then. He's 185, just 185. Nothing heavy. Lightweight. You get all these emotions on a gym again. Feel good. Oh, 2023 plates. Look at that. Feel like I'm at home. How, you guys doing? How are you? Knox's dad, right? Who? Knox? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my son. I love it. I'm not Josh Bridges anymore. I'm fucking Knox's dad. I tell that kid all the time, I'm like, boy, you're gonna be way better than I ever was. Good ever anymore. I love it. Juices are flowing in here. Kettle's hot, baby. <laughs> I, don't, I think I'm good. <laughs> I might do some more sets here. That's right. We were just talking about it in the car. Getting to actually those emotions again. It feels good. I'll put these little guys on. Just these little guys. If they had pounders, I'd put those on too. A little squirrely. Take it. That's right. This is lockout. Yeah. So it's like that's it. And then this and then the, this is front rack. Oh. Yeah. Is it just painful? I mean, is no. it just tight or is it painful? It it just hits a wall. So it's like that's yeah. just all I have. Yeah. And uh, so I went and had surgery. I had some of the spur spurs yeah. removed. It did nothing. Yeah. So easy. Nice job. Nice lift, nice lift. Where do you want to squat at? I don't care, wherever you, wherever. Sorry, you're gonna to have to do a half squat every rep too. I shared with my my, my 11 year old, he squats with me, yeah. and I was literally like, I'm like, this is what everyone else feels like when they squat with me. Five, five. Five, five? Huge. Our other teammates, five, eight. Okay. So, was, you know, yeah. I gotta do a little core squat. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you'll, be, squat. you'll be coming, you'll be coming down. Maybe one up. Oh, hell yeah, let's go. Yeah, right? Well, I'll, help you, I'll help you out. Oh yeah, I got plenty of space there. There you go. Yeah, man. And, and like, and that's the thing is if, if you have the passion for it, why not? I just don't. And I knew how much work I was still going to have to put in to go masters and for like such little, yeah. little reward. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So it was oh, like, yeah. for me, it wasn't, I wasn't putting the masters down. It was more so like 
I, I am inspired by those fucking people who compete in that shit. I think it's fucking awesome. And it's like, dude, if I'm 65 and I can still move like some of those guys at 65, yeah. Oh, yeah. are you kidding me? There's I feel 40. Weird, like 35 to 39 that like, dude, you're, it's, still, it's, you're, you're still, still just as good as ever. And it's like, yeah. like 65, that's totally different. Totally different. But yeah. Dude, from 35 yeah. to 39, I still felt so fucking good. Yeah. You know, it was like, now, now, now. <laughs> When you hit that second when you hit that second category, you're like, yup, yup, this is where I'm supposed to be. Deep squat right there. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> I am not a deep. I wasn't expecting that. I'm not a deep squatter. My squat's not deep. That's deep. <laughs> SC95. So I haven't been doing it much lately. <laughs> I'll feel it tonight. We're getting surgery on Tuesday. Fuck it. Josh, do you wanna? You yeah, wanna I can. Do? I can do that workout. You wanna do? I can do it. But are all those movements like? Yeah, they're fine. Yeah. Good with with, with uh, the, the overhead squat is gonna be really ugly. Whitney, oh, you might not want to film it. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just the face. I actually love ball balls. You do? Oh, I did. Shit. I'm That's five, impressive. eight and a half, and I fucking. I need to know your secrets because I I've, like I have so many short athletes sit, and I'm like, yeah. I think I, it, I think it was more so. Off. Target, yeah. I just love volume squatting, so it never yeah, bothered me. Okay. You know, so it was yeah. like. See, okay, that goes to the argument then that it is a squat because I hate squatting. Yeah, so, yeah. And everyone's like, well, you're tall, you should love wall balls. I'm like, it's squatting. I know I'm never gonna fail a wall ball. It's like yeah. more so like, oh, I need to put this yeah. down because I I'm breathing too hard. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, especially with 20 pounds. When you went to 30 pounds, that's different. Yeah, it's good, that's. Yeah. The 10 pounds of that ball is drastic. I just like it because I get a break, you know? Yeah. You get a break for a yeah. moment. Yeah. If I gotta do thrusters, you don't get any breaks. Yeah, I see. Like <laughs> oh, so you are aware of your skating. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a ruler? <laughs> 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 it's, 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 that's that's it. Oh, it's not! <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, four! That was four! Oh, no, the it's not. This, it's right. Th okay, it's, it's three and a half. Yeah, we can't talk shit. You're sure. Those are nasty. Those GHGs are going to get me. That's, that's a good weakness for me, though. Uh, okay. 15 rows long. Good, now so. we'll feel better. You'll, you'll, you'll feel good on those. I'll, I'll catch up on wall balls. When <laughs> yeah. The open go for you guys, Kevin. Our team is not built for burpees. I'll say that. Uh, we're definitely looking forward to heavyweight, high skill, and, you know, but we got to uh, we got to attack some of those weaknesses. Yeah. But, uh, aspirations of sending a team to the game? Definitely, definitely. That's the goal. I think any, anything short of that is failure. Um, in our eyes. Um, last year, uh, Casey and I uh, partnered up with uh, two girls from Oklahoma, and they're, they'd been to the games a few times, and they're kind of just like done competing, and so we reached out to Madison and Taylor, and pumped about this year, but uh, excited to see where we go. And I had come down to train with Kevin and Casey here at Coda a few times, just to like have friends, and then Kevin asked me if I'd be interested in going team, and I had told him it would depend on who the girl was, the other girl was. I ignored Kevin for like three months in my DM inbox. <laughs> and then my friend Jacob's like, this guy's trying to get a hold of you. I'm like, no, I'm not doing team. And then who else? Someone else said, this guy's trying to get a hold of you. I'm like, fine. So I answered him. I said, I'll come try, and, but I'm not doing it. And then I came and I met them and I'm like, I'm doing it. it so fun. Uh, it was like the end. It was like when we met each other. And then she was like, I'll do it if you're, if you're in, I'm in. And then we took the weekend to think about it. And here we are. All right. I'm not a team athlete. I'm just kidding. <laughs> now I am. Uh, we're gonna do a partner workout. Um, Josh and I are partnering up, and Madison and Taylor are partnering up. We have some strict. Because it makes the most sense. Makes height the most sense. Is. We're about the same height. Basically the same thing. Um, yep. Yep. Both good looking. Um, <laughs> some might not say. Uh, and then we got GH synchro GHD, synchro heavy wall balls, some synchro shuttle runs. Synchro overhead squats, synchro GHDs again, and then strict depths of handstand push-ups. So it's gonna be a long one. Uh, I think it'll be fun to see because Josh is good at a lot of these movements that I hate, and I like some of these that I don't think he likes. So we'll see how it goes. It'll be fun. Here we go.
was. Then it wasn't. Then it wasn't. Yeah. Then it wasn't. Yeah. I did five and one. I love GHGs. Oh, she's so good. She goes forever. I felt like a noodle when we picked up on the wall. I was like, I have no midline. <laughs> Even the running was fine. Yeah, it's just yeah. what it was. And I've always liked coming out of a, a jerk instead of snatching into my squat. Mm -hmm. Like I feel so much better and stable when I just clean, oh, it, yeah. clean it and then jerk it. I mean, it's just impressive to be able to do that. After my knee injury, so it was power jerk until I couldn't get any more and then I had to start learning how to squat jerk so I could get heavier. I, don't, I can't yeah. squat jerk my... We should have started off 15. I, I came yeah, out and said 10. We, we were all over the place. Yeah, yeah. We were like 10. I missed the rep here. Small balls. How was the 35? Not lying. Not lying. Those from, like the 135 thruster from the open workout, felt a million times better than that. Oh wow. A million, million times. I don't agree. <laughs> awesome job, buddy. Thank you, Crush it, man. Good work. I had 413 in the last four. I mean, if we were doing a three and a half inch deficit, it would have been pretty easy. Also. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like the movements. Sounds like you. It was fun. Sounds like you. It was a good, uh, I thought the, the 75 to 25 was a weird number to switch. Yeah. You know, I thought it could have been probably, I think the overhead squats could have been 50. Oh, no thank you, but yeah. They could have, but. Yeah. <coughs> or even dropped it down to like 95, 65 and been 75, 75. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And then it would have been a little more okay. mentally cleaner. We did 60. I thought the shovel runs were just dumb. It was kind of dumb. They'll but, probably uh, come up next week. But I think I think now, yeah, now you're in quarterfinals, now you're going into sanctionals. Yeah. Like running's a good thing. Yeah. I just think show runs are kind of silly. Because yeah. you can't go fast. Yeah. It's more like it's so expensive your, to go here's fast. Here's your pace. Yeah, here's your yeah. pace. Going fast is like barely faster and way more taxing. Right, right. Well, well like you put a hundred cal echo right there, that's a drastically different workout. You wanna do anything else? Here. Here. I'm down for something else. 180, 60, 40, 20 on a, on a machine. Cat split calories back and forth. One person working and then pick another movement. Okay. Pick numbers, the same thing. Two machines? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We want to do two machines. Or, uh, or like, I don't know, anything you guys want to work on too. I don't care. I mean, I need to do burpees. Uh, fuck, I'll do burpees. All right. We can do burpees. Let me check if I have. Let me just make sure. You can do burpees two days in a row. Echo by... Echo bike burpee. Yummy! Oh. Where's the team programming coming from? We all follow a little different. Um, Casey is our other guy, and he he used to be my business partner. Uh, we opened this gym together and built it up together, and uh, he just moved back to Oklahoma. Um, him and his wife had their first baby. They want to be near family and all that. And uh, we would mostly train together doing, like, CODA programming, and we have a fun, like, competitor class in the middle of the day, four, uh, four days a week on the weekdays, and then one day on Saturday. And it's like 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. And I, I program all that and it's fun. Um, we have an awesome group. And so it's like, makes it super fun to be able to like throw down every day with an awesome group. And it makes me try a lot harder every single day. But we do that for CODA. And then the girls have a individual coach that they um, follow their programming. It's fun working out with Josh because in 2011, I, uh, I was a few years out of college and I drank way too many beers, ate way too much fast food. I gained like 40 pounds above what I was a college athlete and just kind of like fat and out of shape. And uh, I saw the CrossFit Games on TV in 2011 and I saw Josh and a few other like badasses and like totally fired me up and I was like, I want to be there. And so got into CrossFit, kind of changed my life. Not kind of, it changed my life. Um, my wife was getting healthy and getting across at the same time and it like brought us back together. And uh, We've owned a gym for like the last 11 years now. And a big part of it is just seeing, you know, badasses like Josh throwing down on the biggest stage and stuff like that. And now it's taken me a long time to get close to that, but now I'm, you know, competing at the CrossFit Games and stuff like that. And it's like super fun. And it was just really inspiring to see, you know, back in, back in 2011, like the first year was on ESPN. So just cool to throw down with him. He's fit as ever. Like he's still crushing me. I was having trouble keeping up. So super fun. That yeah, up for whatever. That was actually like not a bad day at all. That was smooth. You guys chucked through it. I was uh, I was nervous. I was like, ah, I tend to overdo it when it comes to the, you know come to this type of scenario. I'm like oh, I'm like yeah, no, this is great. This is perfect. A few snatches, a few squats, and a little chipper workout. It was great. I loved it. Love it. This these uh, I miss these environments. Working out and training with other people.
maybe I'll start coming in more. Echo bike, dumbbell bench, and like strict pull-ups or something. Or oh. echo bike, dumbbell bench. Now you're speaking my language. Three muscle ups. Okay. I, I haven't done muscle How does the elbow feel with three I'll do ring muscle ups. I haven't. I can't ever do them. So I'll do them. <laughs> Going into those ring after the bench is yeah, really right. nasty. Well, we could do. We could do echo ring dumbbell. Nah. So I mean, it's stupid. not gonna matter. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. Eventually, they'll affect each other. Yeah. Ooh, that's... Is that too much? No, that's good. It's split, though. That's still it's a lot of ring muscle ups. It's basically tens. That's still a lot of ring muscle ups. It's 30 each. It's not that much. It's easy. He says it's easy. Well, no, it's not easy. After dumbbell bench. Just, what, what's the weight for the whenever? Yeah. Okay. The key to this workout is dumbbell. Yeah. Whoa. Fuck yourself up. I like the first two, that second. That 90 last. calories. You can now have that echo bike in two minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I mean, I, we can do that. Just I'm not going to do anything else afterwards. Wait, hey, we why don't we just scratch this and do that Rogue 50 Cal Challenge? Uh, 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 what do you bike on? Uh, I don't really bike on a four, but I can, uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty quick at adjusting, so. Okay. I don't okay. care. Well, I'll go with yeah. whoever. When's the last time you did a ring <laughs> Might have been last year's Open. When we did him at the Mafia, you did him at Mafia. I can't think of another time. Because every time we've gone to 970, we haven't done him. Yeah, it's been a long time. I can be ugly. Love it. I love this. This is awesome. Never echo, we'll try to go 10s or 15s. Okay. I think if you go too long, you know, be slower. So it's a little higher pace, shorter, shorter rep. Okay. I think dumbbell bench, you know, you tell me. I can, with 70 pounds, I could probably go, I could easily go 10s, but like. I think I can do 10s. You can do 10s? Okay. Think so. so I'd just be three sets of 10 each. Okay. Um, yeah. And muscle ups out of you tell me. Yeah, it will be a. Yeah. Mine, might, mine are not going to be that good either. No. Here we go.
thought you guys were doing tens, then you were done. I was like, damn it! Yeah, we did fifteens. Damn it! So that was humbling. It was a fun workout. I didn't think it would be as hard as it was for me, but I fell apart on the rings. My arms are so pumped. But it was fun. I like all those things, so. But Maddie's like a rock star at ring muscle up, so. Josh carried the team for us on that one. He never does ring muscle up, so. That just means I need to work on those a lot more. <laughs> but that's okay. I knew it would be hard. My arms hurt so bad. My arms. Do I look jacked up? <laughs> they hurt. Oh. No, that was good. That was, yeah, I mean, for me and Taylor, with those types of numbers, it made sense for me to shift it. And I've gotten pretty good at the adjustment because I always have to make everyone else going to be in a higher seat. So, no, that was fun though. That was a really fun workout. What a blast. Felt good to get back into a gym, get to be around other people and work out. I mean, the energy, the juices got flowing, felt great. I haven't snatched that much in a long time. Felt really good. So, and then uh, doing partner workouts are so much more fun than being by yourself. It's so boring. So I'm glad we did that. I was a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. It's been a long time and I tend to overdo it when I come in here, but such a chill, relaxed environment. Great people. Coda, CrossFit, Iron View. If you guys want to come check them out, if you're ever in Colorado, North Denver, uh, definitely come check them out. Great people. So, hope you guys enjoy that. Like, subscribe to the thing. And as always, don't forget to pay the man.